dear colleagues, first of all, let me congratulate uh, to the colleagues in this House, in the Commission and in the Council for updating the OLAF regulation and legally fine-tuning the working relations between EPU and OLAF. Now we have made the legal background ready for an effective functioning in the future, and it is truly a great accomplishment. However, at the same time in this discussion about the effectiveness of European anti-fraud efforts, let me highlight a very simple but still crucial concern, still insufficient funding. And this may, may sound technical a bit, but for my constituents, it's a painfully obvious problem. According to the latest report of Olaf, financial, financial irregularities affect 4% of uh, payments in Hungary. This is 10 times the EU average. But whenever I cite this number to my voters, they very often ask the question, wait a minute, only 4%? And then I explain that the capacity of Olaf only allows them to monitor a small fraction of payments, 5 or 10%. But in fact, it is possible that this number is much higher. We just don't know. And the fact that we don't know is in itself very, very problematic. And now imagine that this already underfunded institution now has to administer 750 billion of euros in recovery funds. How can they do that? And we also launched the European Public Prosecutor's Office with really groundbreaking powers. But also in EPO's case, adequate staffing and funding is still a problem. Dear colleagues, let's be clear. Protecting our financial interests has costs. That's the fact. But this cost is an investment in the future. It's in the investment of the recovering this money. And spending more on anti-fraud operation is actually saving us money. So let's consider this in the future and let's fight with every method possible for higher funding for these institutions in order for them to protect our European financial interests. Thank you.